<laughs> I can't wait. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we are headed back to the world of Last Epoch, my current favorite ARPG. Now we've known for a while that 0.8, the next big update for this game, is coming December 4th. It's right around the corner, but we haven't had an official patch preview drop explaining everything that's going to be in that update until now. And that is what we're going to be discussing here today. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Right now, I'm on the official Last Epoch website under announcements, patch preview beta 0.8. Now we're going to take this step by step, starting with the new class. Summary. This huge update includes new classes, new weapons, and offhand types, dual wielding, and many improvements to existing aspects of the game we can't wait to share it with you. Highlights. The Rogue Base class will now be available for all players. The Marksman Mastery class will be available for all play players. The Blade Dancer class mastery will be available for all players. See the trailer and the gameplay preview here. Now, I cannot tell you how many people have personally reached out to me in, in the past asking when is the rogue dropping i don't plan on playing this game until they drop the rogue when are they dropping the last playable class it's now here well it's soon to be here december 4th now it's really only about a minute 40 a minute 50 combined what i'm going to do for you in 4k is play the teaser trailer for the rogue and the gameplay trailer be right back enjoy Slums of Majelka, I survived by my skill and cunning. Dual wielding has officially come to Last Epoch with 0.8. This is another core component of the game that a lot of people have been asking for for a while because it opens up so many other build opportunities. And I'm excited to explore dual wielding with all the builds that I have dropped. So a couple days ago, they broke down how this will work. So check this out. The Primalist will be able to use an axe or sword in their offhand. The Rogue will be able to use a sword or dagger and the Sentinel and Spellblade will be able to use only a sword. Sorry, Acolyte, as of right now, you won't be able to dual wield. The whole idea is that you can't, you're can't stupid to dual wield wands, right? Or like, that wouldn't be beneficial. Basically, anything that really hits melee characters. So, Acolytes are freshly, unfortunately, out of luck. So take a look at Vengeance. Here's the interaction. Couple dual sword swings. Fury Leap. Come on, jump. You can do it. There you go. Rebuke. I like rebuke. Nice. Then avalanche. Ah! Now, dual wielding isn't just something that comes naturally with the character. You actually have to put a certain amount of points from your passive tree into dual wielding to be able to unlock it. So it's just not like you can have two swords level one as you're going. At some point, you will have to unlock it. And I don't know if that's in the core tree or if you have to wait till later on. Later on. We will wait and see once 0.8 drops. Rogue skills. The rogue base class will launch with nine skills, each with specialization trees. 
The Blade Dancer and Marksman will both drop with four skills and specialization trees. So you're gonna have lots of options from a skill standpoint for these new builds. I am excited. Items, we're gonna be getting bows, daggers, and quivers. 11 new bows, 11 new daggers, and eight new quivers, eight quivers. Now they've dropped some art on us for what these look like. Here's an example of what the bows look like. Here's an example of what the quivers look like. I think they did a really nice job with the art direction on the quivers. And then here is what the daggers look like. It's kind of neat, this like bone handle one. Looks good. And then here's an interaction with what attack looks like with the dagger. Got a little spin. Boom. What is that? It looks like what Raphael right there. I like that. Now, something interesting that is no longer in here, and I might be losing my mind, okay? But I think they made an edit. Earlier under daggers, it talked about how they are a little slower than a sword, which I felt was really interesting. So, a dagger initially was not the fastest weapon in the game. And that was like the only thing that I commented on when I saw this initial post, but then I guess they edited it because it was a typo. I have no idea, I'm just throwing it out there that literally my comment at the bottom says, I don't understand why a dagger is not the fastest, and I guess they made an edit. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we will have to wait and see. But a dagger should be the fastest melee weapon in the game. If it isn't, it literally makes no sense. A number of new uniques are coming, including some rogue specific items, and then we are getting a new set. The Spy Master set. So we'll have to see what that is. Level design, we're completely replacing Temple of Eterna, and it is now one of the most visibly impressive areas in the game. I will show that off when they drop this patch. Visuals, due to performance improvements, shadows are now shown at all settings configurations. It's really cool. User interface, this update includes a wealth of improvements designed to further polish the UI assets. We are completely replacing the chat system. We'll have to see what's going to be new there. They're updating the loot filter for bows, daggers, and quivers, and optimization. We've created new shaders for our shadows. In our testing, it has a result. It has resulted in improvements up to six frame rates per zones. And then by turning off boost, you will get an additional six frame rates. So based upon these two things, you can get an additional twelve frame rates, which I've been asking for optimization for a long time. So that is always good. Now that is the update, at least what we have so far for patch 0.8. Mark your calendars. December 4th, this coming Friday, we will be officially getting 0.8. I'm excited to start my official journey with the Rogue with my new build, the Marksman. Hopefully it is a good one. Now, this is what I want from you in the comments section below. What do you want to see next? come to Last Epoch. In my personal opinion, I think we're ready for multiplayer. Oh yeah. Now that will be a serious game changer. I don't need any of their updates to the game, just multiplayer. All right, if you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now approaching 430 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. Thank you all for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Do not forget to join the official Action RPG Discord. Aaron, out.